Hi, hello, this is Jules the Human here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, if you didn't watch the last video, I'm gonna be having new videos on this channel every Wednesday. I'm back, I do vlogs, I do silly stuff, and I do reviews sometimes whenever I think I really wanna talk about something, or a movie, or a game, or something like that, and I really wanna talk about Velvet Buzzsaw. Now, of course, this will be a non-spoiler review, so you can go watch it after. I won't be giving away anything that's not in the trailer, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of an overview of the story, and then get into it, and what I liked, and what I didn't like. But yeah, I'm back and I hope you like this video. Also, hey, if you want to follow me in between uploads, it's going to be at Jules the Human, at J-U-L-E-S the Human on all social media, and I just started Twitch streaming. So if you want to see me be bad at video games, go ahead and find me on Twitch. It's going to be right down there, the very first link right down there in the description of this video. Okay, Velvet Buzzsaw. I hate reviews that are like going around the subject, trying to make the video like super long. This is going to be super short. I just want to tell you about it, and I always hate review videos when they're like, well, I'll tell you uh, if I like it at the end of the video. It's like, no, I I, I come to the review video for a reason and I want to know if you like it or not and right now I'm gonna tell you I really did like this movie so I saw the trailer a while back and I was like oh this is gonna be a really good movie it has Jake Gyllenhaal Jake Gyllenhaal is a really good actor I wonder when it's gonna come out or whatever I missed the part where it was on Netflix it's a Netflix film so you can watch it right now if you have Netflix but yeah totally missed it and then it came up on the top of my feed and I'm like oh my god there's that movie that I really wanted to see I didn't know it was gonna be on Netflix oh my god I need to watch it right now but the trailer is really intriguing it makes it seem to be this horror movie that it isn't it's something totally different than what I thought it was gonna be and that's okay I was totally okay with that if you're not then it is a little jarring if you didn't want to take what it was giving you then it could be a little jarring a little different it's not this horror that it makes it out to be we see some prestige people in the art world they find some art it goes crazy horror ensues and all this stuff the trailer makes it seem to be like this straight cutthroat horror film but I I found myself laughing a whole lot more than I was scared and there was no jump scares there was maybe one or two that were a little weird but there was no jump scares so for me that was a big sigh of relief because I really hate jump scares but it was super intriguing and I was like I want to see it I really hate you know hate being scared but I like horror movies and I was like okay let's watch it but I, I was laughing it's a satire it's a satire of the art world with these characters that are so superfluous and so of the art whatever that means. They're creative, so for me as a creative, as a musician, I saw their jargon, their heightened personalities. I saw that and I instantly applied it to people that I've met and know and I was like, yeah, that's that's completely plausible. <laughs> and in the beginning when I first started laughing at a couple scenes, I was like, is this okay? Am I supposed to laugh? But as it continued, I was like, oh, that's really funny. Oh, that's satire on this kind of person. Oh, they're really smart and they're using these art words and art ideas in the correct way and it just brings you into this whole world and I was ready for it I was ready I had my backpack on I was ready for the adventure but again if you're not if you're going into it looking for a straight horror film then this isn't the movie for you one thing that excelled this movie to the next level is the incredible acting actors and actresses that were in the movie of course we saw a lot of Jake Gyllenhaal in this movie especially because he was in the trailer a whole ton but someone else that I was incredibly happy about was Zawe Ashton she did fantastic and her acting was superb we also have Natalia Dyer from Stranger Things, you might remember her, and she does a fantastic job. Rene Rousseau, Tony Collette, John Malkovich, all of these people make this movie so insane because there are a ton of characters that you have to follow, and it was really easy. I usually have a problem with following characters, following their storylines, following who's with what, and this movie made it uh, pretty simple to follow. With their acting skills, with the personalities being so different, it was kind of interesting to watch these characters interact with each other. So this movie was super funny. I I found it hilarious. I was literally laughing out loud. I don't know if it's like smart humor. I don't want to come out as being like smart or whatever because I'm not. But it was a little bit smarter. The humor was pretty cool and it became like super cheesy horror towards the end and I was like, hey, I'm here for it. It's funny. I get it. The movie's not taking itself seriously even though the characters are so serious. That's kind of the satire of it that they're taking themselves so seriously that it's hilarious. So I'm going to definitely recommend this movie. I definitely recommend Recommend that you see it if you have seen it if you didn't like it if you disagree with me let me know right down there in the comments leave a like if you want some more review videos I think I'm gonna give velvet butts I think I'm gonna give velvet buzzsaw but saw I think I'm gonna give velvet buzzsaw a four out of five saws 
I haven't done a review in a while. I forgot how I do reviews, but four out of five saws. It, it was really fun. It's a fun movie. Go check it out. Don't take it seriously and uh, don't expect some super horror movie because that's not what it is. Again, leave a like on this video. I'm going to be doing new videos every Wednesday. If you want to hang out, if you have no one to hang out with on Monday, Friday, or Saturday, I'm going to be Twitch streaming some video games. Come hang out for a few hours. It's a lot of fun or hang out for like uh, five minutes, however long you can. It's a lot of fun. And I've been enjoying gaming with y'all. So the link's going to be right down there. The very first link is my Twitch. You don't need a Twitch account to come hang out. It's a lot of fun. Follow me on all social media at Jules the Human at J-U-L-E-S the Human on all social media, Instagram, Twitter, or now I have a Facebook page. But yeah, thanks and I'll see you soon. Thank you.